Well, we converted logs into exponents. Can we go backwards? Can we go exponents into logs? Yeah, of course we can. Just remember a couple of things here. Remember, this is c to the power of y equals to x. So maybe if you establish this relationship first, the rest of it is a walk in the park. Check this out. What's your base here? My base is this. This is log of base 7, right? Okay, 7, of course, raised to the power of, oh, right there, negative 2. That must make the 149th the argument. That simple. Watch again. Very, very straightforward. Look, there's our base. Log base of x raised to the power of 2y. So that's going to be raised to the power of 2y. Oh, there you go. Log base x, 5, is 2y. Ah, okay. So does this make this a base? Okay. This is going to be log of the base of 2x plus 4 raised to the power of negative 1. So this has got to be raised to the power of negative 1. That's got to be a. Huh. Wow, this is actually kind of getting to be a little bit of fun. Well, same kind of idea with this. Now, do you remember questions like this? We had the two up front. Do you remember where that came from? Go watch the last podcast. You'll see where it came from. It's really neat. You got to get rid of that two first because you got to isolate the exponent to itself. Okay? So simple. Divide both sides by two. Do you remember that? Uh huh. That leaves you y over two equals to three to the x. All right. There's your base. Log base three, right? Raised to the x. So that's raised to the x. That's going to be this guy, y over 2. Piece of cake, right? And you can put brackets around that if you like. That's actually kind of fun. How do you get rid of a 3 over 2 then? Well, simple. Multiply by the reciprocal. 2 over 3, right? Prove it. Sure. 2 cancels with 2. 3 cancels with 3. Or 6 over 6 gives you 1. So if you clean this up now, you've got a base here of 10. So this is going to be log base 10. Now remember, we don't have to put a base 10, but I like to put base 10 when I'm trying to figure things out, right? To the exponent, to the power of x equals 2, ah, all right, 2 thirds y. Pretty easy. Once you get the hang of this, it actually just makes a whole heck of a lot of sense here. Okay, so one of the things that I put down here, which is kind of important, is this idea here. That's going to explain the last two questions, D and E. So if you've got an A up front here, you've got to isolate the exponent. So just divide both sides by A. And when you do that, your logarithm then becomes this. That's starting to get into something called the log laws, which we're going to take an awful deep look at. We're going to look at this so deep, you're going to see all kinds of neat things coming up. But that's it for this one.